picking up from where I left off, it's a vicious cycle. If somebody is hurt at one point in their life, they're going to hurt somebody else. And then that person is going to end up hurting somebody else. And then so on and so forth until the cycle reverses itself when somebody decides that I don't want to do this to somebody else because then I'll feel bad and I'm making somebody else feel bad and I'm demeaning their character and I'm demeaning some and I'm and then they're going to end up demeaning somebody else and then they're going to hurt and then that person's going to hurt and then it's a chain reaction domino reaction because it's so stupid I mean, until somebody decides that they don't want to get hurt until someone decides that they don't want to hurt somebody else or four other people, or five other people, because it's just gonna go around and around and around in a circle. Like, round, 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 and I like it, by Enrique Iglesias. It's just gonna go round and round and round. What goes around comes around, it's karma. But, if, if you are the one person who decides that I don't want to hurt somebody else, then good on you. Because, if you are, if somebody, the person who is hurting you is either a jackass, or has been hurt themselves, they're the ones hurting more than you are. And they just want to make somebody else feel the pain because they're idiots. They need somebody else to feel the same pain they are when, they, when you don't need to. You never let them see that you're hurting. Even if you are, you never let them see it. Ever. Because, I told you, they're just going to keep doing it. Because if they see that all this stuff that they're doing to you is working, then they're just going to keep wanting to do it because it makes them feel better because of their inadequacies that other people made them see. Because let me tell you something. If somebody says you're fat, you're not. They're jealous of your body. This is, this is the truth, God-given truth. Nobody understands this. When you turn a teenager, nobody understands this. I mean, there are a few people who do, but nobody else. When, when somebody makes fun of you because of your weight, they're insecure about their own weight. And if it's a skinny girl picking on you who's not that skinny, then they're jealous because they, then they're doing, they're obviously doing something to make themselves that skinny, if you know what I mean. Because they feel insecure about their own body. And they want to feel as secure, they want to feel as comfortable in their own skin as you do. Because if you're going around like, I don't care how much I weigh, because I am who I am. They're jealous of you because they don't have that same, like, confidence that you do. And if somebody tries to make fun of, like, your hair color, your eye color, it's because they want it. Never let somebody make fun of you because of your weight your look because everyone is beautiful just in just like in the song just the way you are because you're beautiful just the way you are no matter what you're always beautiful never let anyone tell you different because if anyone says different they're lying and they're being stupid because every single person on this earth is beautiful no matter if no matter the race ethnicity body shape body type anything everything is perfect nobody seems to understand that they see the media version of perfect like um size two size two blonde hair blue eyed um model tall five foot six no that's not perfect because they're because they obviously did something to make themselves look that way because no one in their right mind looks that way because because no one's going to be perfect but everything is is your kind of perfect because, like that song by David Archuleta, my kind of perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it just has to be your kind of perfect. That makes you feel comfortable. That makes you feel right. You never think of, think of yourself less, less, because you're um, a little bit overweight, because you're not overweight. I mean, you might be like, if you're supposed to be like 120 pounds and you're 170 pounds, yeah, you need a, you don't, you don't really need to lose, a, you do need to lose a few pounds for your health but you're perfect the way you are because no matter what you are beautiful you are perfect don't think that like oh i'm perfect i'm perfect because that's just that's showing that you're imperfect because if you're acting like you're perfect you're not perfect because flaunting your 
perfectness is not perfect. That makes you imperfect. I know it's kind of weird the way I understand this and the way I phrase this, but you're gonna get you're gonna get it by the end of this video. If somebody is picking on you for anything, it's because they want it or they're jealous of it. You are beautiful no matter what. You are handsome. And the one thing that makes me really angry is when people say, like, I'm worthless because you're not. You are so not worthless. Not worthless. I pray, I pray that someday you realize that I hope someday someone makes you feel like you're worth something because you are not worthless. Not at all. You are and if you think you're worthless, you're most likely one of the most worthy people there are. Because if you're, like, that humble and that modest and that, like, and that naive, actually, to make yourself think that you're not worth anything, you must be really worth it. Because anyone who thinks, oh, I'm so worthy, oh, I'm so worth it, oh, I'm so perfect, is not really worth it. Because, I mean, yeah... The stuck up people are not are not gonna like the underdogs because they're not supposed to. But you never let anything like that get to you because you're perfect, you're handsome. You are your own kind of perfect. I'm gonna tell you, I am not the most fit person in the world. Peep I think I'm fat, but people say I'm pretty skinny, and I'm thinking, you're crazy, but if you think so, alright. And I don't think I'm the most beautiful person in the world. I, because I'm not. I'm not the most beautiful person in the world. But you're never, but it's not like, no one's going to have everything. Because one, at one time or another, you are not going, you are not going to be good at everything. Like, sometimes talent is also another thing. Like, some people can sing, but they can't song write. Some people can song write, but they can't sing, like me. Some people can write books, but they can't write songs. And some people are very good comedians, but they don't have very good stage presence. And a lot of stuff like that. Like, you're not going to be perfect at everything. But you are your own kind of perfect. Because you are perfect. No matter what. I can't stress it enough. You are perfect no matter what. You are perfect. Just keep saying to this. I am somebody. This is a, this is a poem my teacher taught me. And you're, and if you're ever feeling down, or if anyone's ever picking on you, this is all you have to remember. I am somebody. I am capable and lovable. I am teachable, therefore I can learn. I can do anything when I try. I will respect myself and others. I will be the best that I can be each day. I will not waste time because it is too valuable and I am too precious and bright. I am somebody. Never forget those words. Because those are some of the words that could possibly get you through the hardest times in your life. Because that's actually very inspirational, even though it seems very stupid. Because it seems, it seems very cutesy and stuff like that. But if you actually listen to what it's saying, you can actually relate to it. Because no matter what, you are perfect. You are too precious and bright. You are too valuable. And time is too precious to waste. So never waste time thinking about what anyone says about you because it's not it's most likely not true just remember that everything and anything you do can make a difference just live each day to the fullest and never let anything get you down because you are perfect you are somebody